In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I believe to be one of the better quick passes in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to help you get better at Madden 21 through tips, through strategies, and tactics that you can apply in your game. I post four times a day here on YouTube, so make sure that you go to the bottom of the screen and click that subscribe button so that you don't miss an upload, as well as making sure that you hit that notification bell. That way you know whenever we go live. I live stream Madden 21 every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. All right, guys, so split slot. We're in the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. And this quick pass is absolutely insane. Um, this place is six, eight, nine hooks. So you've basically got two really, really solid routes for quick passing. You have a deep dig route. You really don't have to make any adjustments to this concept. It's literally going to beat pretty much every defense in the game stock. This is in the Arizona Cardinals playbook uh, and the split, uh, the split. Uh, formation. So let's take a look at how this route works so against man, against zone. It really doesn't matter. And even if they try to use her this route, it's actually very difficult. But you see here against the blitz, this is absolutely a dot. I mean, it's literally, um, you literally, all you have to do is snap and throw it. You don't have to pass lead it. You don't have to do anything. Literally just snap, throw. And you're going to see against man to man, if there's no safety over the top, it's just one on one man to man, it's going to absolutely crush uh, man to man coverage. The other thing that I like about this play um, is that you can actually, it's, a, it's what I call a two-window route. So you can look at it at the snap, and then what you can do is you can let it settle up. And you'll see that hook route, it's, it, it cuts so sharply that it literally is just going to kill man-to-man. -man. Like just boom. And, you, you know, it's, it's a little thing. But I think the little things make a lot of diff a, a massive difference. The other thing is you have a nice quick pass to Williams here. You see that this is a little bit different of a route. It's not specifically a table route. It's really a shoot flat route. Um, you can get these, I think, on hot route master quarterbacks. But this route works really well in combination with the other uh, with everything else on the play. Because let's say they run like cover two. Let's just say they run cover two. Uh, what you're going to see is Marquez Valdez Scantling is going to absolutely kill cover two to the outside, as you can see there. The reason and part of the importance of, of the route to uh, your running back is to pull the flat defender outside. So because the flat defender is going to be pulled to the outside, then what that's going to allow is it's going to allow a window in behind the cloud flats that no cloud flats going to be able to take, take away. So now you've got a cover two beater. You've got man-to-man um, -man and zone killers, right? And then what's really cool is if you have like 90 deep route running, you want to put your best receiver in the slot on this one or to the left side. But if you have good deep route running, this route to Lazard is actually a lot better than it looks. Um, you'll see here this deep dig route to Devontae Adams is really, really solid. But what's even better is how this play works together with uh, with everything else that we're doing for this little, little formation. But here's, here's what it looks like against zone coverage. That's a max, a uh, couple yellow zones. Um, literally, I mean, even if they man up, like let's say they try manning up the defensive lineman on this guy, you see he's still going to get that inside position. That's what makes it so good. It reminds me of a route that I used to run in Madden 20, or Madden like 13 from Full House called uh, Wide Receiver Double Shake. The only thing with this route is when you have like a Aaron Rodgers type of quarterback, you don't want to lowball this because sometimes what will happen is it will actually hit the lineman because it's such a, such a quick animation. But, you know, as long as you don't lowball it, you're good. And then what's also really cool is this route to Devontae Adams is absolutely killer. I mean, it's going to basically beat everything. You're, you're, you know, they're going to have to drop their yellows back and basically choose whether they're going to take away uh, the hook route. But you see here, that's and that's an example right there. You don't want to let that hook route sit for too long against man. You want to throw it on the cut, so right there. And if you throw it right there, you're going to be, you're going to be in business. So this is probably, I mean, for my money, Gun two back is actually very, very option um, or a very, very good option this year. And you see, that's man-to-man -man coverage with a really, really good corner, right? It's a really, really good corner. Man-to-man -man coverage, he's going to beat that. Um, this is zone, and I think those were probably hard flats, and that was good, you know, good defense. But they're literally going to have to play, like, really, really underneath zones um, to be able to stop this. And you see how sometimes it will hit the lineman. But by and large, you know, if you have like a – and this is only for quarterbacks that have pass lead elite ability. But, like, this is what I love about the fact is that Williams' route typically, typically will beat man as almost like a blind read. You can literally just throw it. Um, I have found, as you see there, that if they're, if they're already having that outside position, they may not – you know, he may not beat man as good until he does actually cut. But getting him out into the flat – 
in combination with everything else this play has to offer. This play is often slept on. I think this might be one of the best plays in the game this year, uh, just, just from what I have seen firsthand with how it handles some of the pressure packages that, you know, and you're not going to face a ton of pressure this year, but some of the, you know, just the way it gets open against man-to-man, the way that it clears out uh, zones for you, the way that it just kind of works. Everything in this play works together off one another, and you'll see it, like, against cover three match, let me show you, uh, like, cover three or cover three match. It doesn't really, yeah, cover three match. This is like big nickel over G. This is like the D that everyone's been running. What you'll see is this deep, deep, deep post over the top. If Rodgers can make that throw, you can get that up over the top of the defense. So, anyways, guys, if you have not already picked up my Arizona Cardinals offensive ebook, I talk about this formation as well as a ton of other formations in the ebook. Um, we're actually going to be re getting ready to update this ebook with this full scheme so from two back so if you want to pick that up you can pick up that ebook in the description it's madden 21 competitive bundle guide also guys i'm excited to let you know that i have coaching sessions now available you can pick up the coaching sessions a lot of people have messaged me about those there's a link to pick that up in the description of this video but so excited for everything guys if you haven't joined the discord be sure to do that a link to do that is in the description of this video we've got three more videos coming for you today so we will see you in a few hours and if you guys are catching this in the evening and it's about 10 o'clock, come check out the live stream. We're live every night on YouTube at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. You can also text me your questions anytime. My number is 812-216-3644.